This is my week eight assignment for FTT 122 Intro to M1 Ballistics. Okay, so for part one of this week's video, we're gonna be disassembling the rest of the dummy cartridges that came with my kit. Just to verify, there's no primer in any of these. These are all inert. Okay, cool. We're gonna go ahead and disassemble this really quick and then we'll get into part two. Go ahead and put the round in the collet. There we go. Keep them all together. All right, so we have them all disassembled. Let's go ahead and start getting some measurements. Okay, now let's go ahead and get some scale drawings done. Okay, so here we have all the scale drawings of the cartridges. Okay, so for this next part of the video, we're gonna go ahead and start getting measurements of these uh, cartridges so we can identify them. We'll go ahead and start off with this one. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try to find the bullet diameter. We can do that by either measuring the bullet itself. Since we have it, we can do that. Or you can actually measure the inside of the case neck. And so since we have these super awesome calipers, we'll go ahead and do that. So the first measurement we're looking at is 0.278. Go ahead and get the case length. Since we have the bullet, let's go ahead and get that just for continuity's sake. We'll get the diameter, we'll measure right here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get the measurements for all the other ones. Okay, so I went ahead and got all the dimensions for the rest of the cartridges and here we can see, here's my drawings. I went ahead and identified if they were rimless or rimmed. So we have two that are rimmed and three that are rimless. So we'll go ahead and jump on the computer and start comparing these cartridge dimensions to identify the types of cartridges these belong to. All right, so for the next part of this video, we're gonna go ahead and use this reference in the Gun Digest book and we're going to cross-reference our measurements that we got with what is in the book and try to find out what exactly our cartridge is. So for the first one, this one right here, which is the largest one that was included in the dummy cartridges. So we have our first measurement, which is going to be the, the neck diameter. And let's go ahead and just scroll through here and find, okay, so we'll just go ahead and base this off of the bullet diameter, the internal size, which is two, 0.278. So start off at 0.278, and as you can see here, it looks like it's a 270 Schuster, but that's not, I know that's not our round. So we have to do a, a little bit more research. Let's go ahead and go to the overall length of the case, which we got 2.510. And as you can see, the 270 Schuster is showing that it is 1.924. So let's continue to scroll down. And now we're in the 2.5. So we have the 28 Nosler, the 280 Ackley, the 7mm Weatherby Magnum, uh, and a bunch of other ones. So, all right. So it looks like we're actually going to need to get a few more dimensions because, as you can see, all of these are kind of in the same size. But we really want to find out which one exactly we have. So we'll go ahead and grab our casing again. And based on this, let's go ahead and take a look at the, ba, 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 ba. we will go with the rim diameter, okay? So we have our caliper here, really quick. We'll go ahead and grab our rim diameter. And our rim diameter is showing 0.526. So that actually really helped a lot. So 0.526. Now what is the closest one? It looks like it's gonna be this one, the seven millimeter Remington Magnum. So let's go ahead and continue to, you know, process of elimination here. So we got the, uh, the rim diameter, use the shoulder diameter right here, shoulder diameter. We'll go ahead and get that measurement, which is showing 0.488, so 0.49. And so with all those measurements combined, this is a seven millimeter Remington Magnum. Now, kind of cheated a little bit because it's stamped on the back of the cartridge itself. And in case, this is really important skill to learn and reference because sometimes the, the caliper won't be 
stamped on the back of the cartridge itself. So this is a good skill. Okay, so we have a few more cartridges to get through, so we'll go ahead and just start picking them up. Okay, so after all of that, uh, we found out that this is a 9mm Luger, and also it's stamped on the back. So we'll go ahead and move on to the other ones. So this, this is this one right here. So we'll go ahead and continue to get all of this information. 38 Special. And then the last one we did last week, and we know that this is a 223. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and give a brief history on each cartridge that we measured today. So this is the 3030, also known as the 3030 Winchester, and it was introduced by Winchester Repeating Arms back in 1895. This is a 7mm cartridge, also known as a 7mm Remington Magnum, and it was developed, well, by Remington back in 1962. The 7mm is known for its long range capabilities and is a super popular round with hunters and long distance shooters. This cartridge is the 9mm, also known as the 9x19 Parabellum. Uh, it was designed by George Luger back in 1902. Uh, this is pretty much the gold standard when it comes to handgun rounds in today's world. All right, this is probably one of the most Common rifle rounds in America. This is the 223 Remington. It was developed in 1964 and pretty much every single AR-15 platform out there uses this round. Okay, last but not least, this is the 38 Special. This is a round that was introduced back in 1898. Uh, this is a revolver cartridge uh, known for its historical use by law enforcement and popularity in concealed handguns. Okay, so that's everything. Uh, this wraps up my week eight assignment for FTT 122 Intro to Ammo and Ballistics.